might be a good idea to go to the library and find a copy of Hogwarts A History. Why do you want it? So we can find out about the legend of the Chamber of Secrets, of course. Of course. I suppose you want me to sneak out to the library again. Could you? Oh, thanks, Harry. The only thing is, you'll need to get into the restricted section this time. Go down to the second floor and into the library reading room. Sneak through there and you'll see a door with the golden arch. Go through this door and into the reading room annex. At the end of the annex, there's a portrait that will let you into the restricted section. The password is Bibliophile. Right. Second floor, reading room, through door with golden arch and into annex. Through portrait. Got it. Thanks, Harry. Uh, and watch out for the prefect. Hey! Hey! Ah, Mr. Potter breaking the rules. Five house points from Gryffindor. There's someone round here. Locomoto Mortis! Locomoto Mortis! What was that? Quiet. There's someone around here. Hey, you. Hey, Bibliophile.
Thomas. Ooh. An owl tree.
for that mudblood granger. Whatever it is, Crab, I think it's time to teach him a lesson.
a leaper, you idiot! Goyle, show him how it's done!
Little bird. Harry! I managed to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! Can I have a look at the book, Harry? Here you go. Here it is. I'll read the passage out. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together, seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived at the school. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who are unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he'd started all this pure blood mud blood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the heir of Slytherin can control. But what kind of monster? The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost? All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. I'm off to bed.